Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and I'm back at my Alaskan homestead. A couple months ago, I bought this abandoned homestead looking for some adventure and boy did we find it. We found thousands of dollars of abandoned equipment. We've had cabins catch on fire, equipment's been breaking down and we've been breaking our backs building a road through the swamp. I'm spending almost a week working on projects here at the homestead and I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. Well, the weather forecast said this week was gonna be clear and sunny. We got this instead, but I've ordered thousands of dollars of gravel and heavy equipment to come fix this trail, and there's no turning back now. We're gonna to have to make this happen. Some neighbors saw me struggling to move all this gravel and came to help out. Yeah, it's gonna be a big help. All right, one mud puddle down, many more to go. Every time one of these trucks drops a load, it costs me about $320. We got a lot done in one day. There's about 14 truckloads of dirt. That's about 168 cubic yards. We're about a third of the way done. Nice and rainy. Got a new generator. This time I'm storing it outside. Of course, I brought fire extinguishers. For those of you who haven't been watching my videos, I bought this a few months ago and it was just full of abandoned equipment. ATVs, wood splitters, generators. Unfortunately, We've had some issues. My 9,000 watt generator caught on fire and nearly burned this cabin down. So high on my agenda today is to get that generator hooked up and get our electrical system back to the way it was. I left the keys to the cabin back at the house. Oh. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> it's not how the lock should work, but I'm grateful. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the heck? I could break the lock, but honestly, repairing it just sounds like a lot of work. Well, I was going down the trail and I ran into one of my neighbors and uh, they've invited me to dinner. Hey, hey, hey yeah. thank you. Welcome, come on in. The screaming ears, Maggie, she just wants to. Talk. It's hard to meet you. Hey, it's a pleasure Hello. to meet Natalie. you. You're so tall. So and you said Natalie, you said? Yes. Oh, yes. that's good. Oh, thank you. Will you let out? Oh, hi, hi, bud. <laughs> Hey. We were looking for property and we looked at Oh goodness. You know, so Those are beautiful burgers. <laughs> in front of Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure at this point. Oh, good, yeah. Thank you so much. That was delicious. Oh, you're welcome. Hey. Oh. Now. Oh, right there. <laughs> that was such a lovely meal. It's a lot easier to deal with things when you got food in your stomach been a long day and I've got a long way to go to get home before midnight so I'm gonna put up the camera and I will see you guys in the morning mm. 
Something's wrong with my system. My batteries are completely dead. Supposedly this inverter prevents that from happening. It shuts the system down before the batteries get all the way to zero. So something's wrong with this box that it allowed that to happen. Oh boy. If I'm going to diagnose the problem with the electrical system, I've got to get the batteries juiced up. The batteries are so dead, the inverter can't even recognize them. And so I can't even charge the batteries the way they are. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna to do to fix that. But the main thing I wanted to do today was to get some propane. That's why propane fittings are made out of brass. Brass doesn't spark. Got probably a year's worth of propane in there. Shouldn't have to do that again for a while. I'd really like to have some electricity in the cabin tonight. I brought this generator along, but there's a problem. So this is the old outlet that the generator used to plug into. And you can see here, it's not a normal 120 volt outlet. This generator only plugs into 120 volt outlets. This is the cable the old generator used to run power into the house. But you can see here, it's melted on one end. So we have got to do some splicing. But if my memory serves me correctly, a 120 volt head only uses these three wires. Well, there we go. Hopefully it won't start another cabin fire here. Choke it. Well, it took some doing, but we got electricity for tonight. It's a little bit cold. I'm gonna get the fire started. Uh, that smoke detector up there is beeping. All right, let's see. All right, there we go. Yeah, we got fire extinguishers. Definitely want to have more of those. Let's see if we got propane. Yeah, we got propane. You know, some curry rice sounds pretty good to me. Okay, this might sound a little stupid, but I just noticed that there's a propane heater right there. I have no idea if this thing works or not. Oh, oh my goodness, that is putting out the heat. That's a really pleasant surprise. As much as I love wood stoves, getting up in the middle of the night to feed them is not fun. That natural gas stove, I can keep this place warm all night long. Uh-oh. Oh, the generator just switched off. Last time I had a generator turn off on me, my cabin was on fire. Just ran out of gas. That being said, that presents a bigger problem. I'm burning up a lot of fuel just to turn on a light. If the batteries were fixed, I could run the generator for two, three hours and then run the cabin off the batteries for two days. Without the batteries, I've got to run the generator anytime I want electricity. So just turning on a light requires me to burn up a lot of gas. All right, some hot chocolate and Japanese curry. Not too bad. Here's the Honda My Generator app on my phone. And I just go and hold this down 
And there we go, the generator's off. All right guys, it's late, I'm going to bed. Got a lot of work to do in the morning. All right, I'll see you guys then. Oh, there we go. Got some pancake mix. That filled me up. All right, guys, I've got gravel trucks coming. I've got to go about a mile or so down the trail and meet them. That guy's been backing up for half a mile. That's pretty impressive. The trucks are having to back up about half a mile down this tiny little trail in reverse. It's crazy. But also that means I've got to walk a half a mile in and then a half a mile out to guide each truck. It's getting a bit much. I'm getting my steps in today. So I grabbed something that might help me with this problem. I got this thing brand new for about 800 bucks. You know, the reason why I'm having to dump so much gravel on this trail is because every time I bring a truck in, I'm damaging the trail. So I'm having to repair the trail as we bring in the dirt. This is a section of the trail we built up the other day. And you can see after six loads by the big trucks, there's already a one foot deep rut. So it's gonna take a couple truck loads to repair the damage we did to this section of trail that wasn't damaged previously. <laughs> we're fixing things only slightly faster than we're breaking them. If we had a couple weeks of dry weather, I could have done this with half the gravel I used because this sort of thing wouldn't be happening. But it's fall here in Alaska and that means it's going to rain right until it starts to snow. This is as far back as those dump trucks will go. We got to stockpile gravel and take it one bucket load at a time further down the trail. This is only about a third the way to my cabin. All right, we're gonna be just laying down gravel 10 feet at a time. It's gonna be a long process. Well, we've run into a little bit of a snag. From here on out, the trail gets a lot smaller and the ground is very soft. Look how jiggly that is. And that backhoe is just too heavy. It's tearing up the trail. So from here on out, we've got to use the tracked bobcat. But we have another 50 to 60 cubic yards of gravel that we need to haul somewhere around 120 trips with the bobcat. So I've worked out a deal with my neighbor and he's going to help me. Hopefully this rain will ease up so we don't tear up the trail running that skid steer back and forth. Nope, it's Alaska. Oh, take this thing back to the cabin. Now I need to just do that 119 times more. <sighs> but before I start putting gravel on this stuff, I need to get it prepped a little bit more. There's a few places like this where I could use an extra log or two. And I should put a plastic fabric or something over the top to keep the rocks from getting pushed down into the mud. You know, before I do all that though, I need to get some dinner. I'm hungry.
I have got so much work yet to do, but it's getting late. I think I need to put up the chainsaw for tonight. All right. Gonna get some water. There's a lot of people in this part of Alaska who don't have wells, so this is a drinking station. These are bear proof handles. Ugh. For a lot of people in this community, every drop of water they use has to be taken from that watering station and hauled in jugs back to their cabin over ATV trails. Really makes you appreciate water. goodness I am sore but we got a lot done the next day The first load of many. We're covering about five to six linear feet with each load and it's taking about 30 minutes round trip. So we're moving at about 10 to 12 feet per hour. One roll down, two to go. See how things are going on the other end. Hey, things are moving along right on schedule. That means they're going better than expected. <laughs> Oh, there goes my tripod. Uh, I think I smoked my tripod on that one. <laughs> Whew. 
That was a lot of work. I found a bunch of junk that the previous owner had thrown into a mud hole to try to drive over. Might as well reuse it, right? Oh. Well guys, it's getting late. I think I need to call it for this trip. But it's not the end of the video. We're gonna finish this. Oh. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Can't tell you how good it feels to see rock going down on my trail. Just so much left to do. Well, first problem of the day, I have locked myself out again. My only set of cabin keys fell off my carabiner yesterday and I lost them. Aha! Uh -huh. Use this old deer stand and see if we can't build a ladder. Oh, here we go. I am graceful. Ta-da! Okie doke. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick for picking a padlock. Oh. First on the agenda, we've got to finish that trail. Oh. All right, I just got a really bad phone call from the owner of the gravel company. Apparently the truck driver that was delivering our gravel this morning hit a bad patch on the trail. The nearest they're willing to deliver the gravel is at the road system, which would be almost an additional one mile round trip for the Bobcat. That would mean it would take one hour to take one scoop of gravel from the stockpile to my property. And all that time, energy and money I spent placing gravel was just so we could get the trucks closer to my property. And now they're not willing to do it. So. Um, I need to go hop on the bike and inspect the trail and see what this truck driver's talking about and see whether it's something we can fix. My neighbor just told me the truck driver got kind of stuck right here in this spot and he ended up just having to dump his load and get out of here. So, oh, we're not getting any more gravel for today. I think we're gonna have to get ourselves a smaller dump truck and use it to shuttle from the beginning of the trail to the middle of the trail. And then the Bobcat will take it from there onto my property. But we're at a standstill. We're not getting any more dirt laid down today. I've got a lot of things I'm stressing about, but I have got to focus on this. I've got to get this trail ready for gravel before I leave today. Now I just need a whole lot of rocks. It is late and I think I need to get heading home. I've lost count of how many days I've been working on this project. But look at that, blue sky. Haven't seen that in a little while. Oh, this is a survey marker for the property corner. I was told this was the property corner right there that's the property corner right there, then it means my property cuts right through this road. <sighs> From like here over is on my neighbor's property. Oh. I'll see you guys next video. I gotta think about this. <sighs> 
If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.